All right, welcome back everyone. Back to the regular grind. Uh, I'm actually bidding on some online storage lockers right now, which end, one ends in an hour. I have to check out where that place even is because it says it's 42 miles away. And then the other ones, you guys might remember, I bought some by Philadelphia. Uh, I think it was uh, like February or it was the end of last year. I think it was I think it was early this year I bought one. Salsa here, right? Salsa has her costume on. <laughs> she's, a, she's a taco. A little small on you, but in the festive mood. I know. Um, so that is what our uh, our plan is for today. I'm going to try to buy some lockers. Uh, the ones I think, ouch. The ones that end tomorrow, like I said, is the ones kind of by Philadelphia. I bought earlier in the year, and uh, they look exciting. So I have to see what the first locker that I'm bidding on, see how far away that is. Hopefully I can buy one, but we're doing some trash picking things this morning. Go ahead out to the auction. Uh, Salsa is figuring out her costume with the Roomba. She's all fired up. <laughs> all right, let's go see how the day goes and let's make it a good one. What is that? Oh, it's one of those, uh, you put pool supplies in there, or yard supplies, or whatever you have. Those are plastic bins for a storage container. Oh, let's lower that. That's a plastic rack. That's a bunch of wood trim. Huh. Oh, I got something over there. Well, it looks to be a vintage chair, as well as you take the chair to bench. It looks like a bench for like your picnic, or like not a. It's the one that you sit down on. It's like a bench bench. That's right. It's a bench for a picnic table. I think that's what that is. You're missing the other bench. You're missing the, the table. Even if it was dry, I probably wouldn't grab it. I've had a bunch of them in the past. That one's in decent shape. Not already. see these horses out here. I don't know what they go to, but they look expensive. Just take the whole bin. Oh, no, I don't need a whole bin. I'll just take the top, top ones. They look broken. Anyone knows anything about this? Let me know. There's a couple people at the flea market who buy. Anything that has to do with horses. I want to take the other one, not the one that looks like it's on a carousel. Playing the odds here. Oh, never mind. It doesn't look like it's on a carousel. I think I might grab that too. And then grab the Razor scooter. out here always count on the mattress got a mop two mops uh, that water is kind of getting annoying sloshing back and forth but uh, that mattress so I, I did that storage locker thing there's that big mattress in there and then there's a box spring the box spring was already wrapped so I got rid of that one um, but I have to wrap the other one in uh, plastic 
so. Oh, well. Once, uh, once I wrap it in plastic, I can get rid of it. So the other, the box spring I got rid of, the garbage people take it for me as long as it's wrapped in plastic. So there's no uh, spreading of, generally speaking, it's for no spreading of bed bugs, but some people say it's also because uh, whenever it rains, they don't want it to weigh a bajillion pounds for no reason. Because the mattress will soak up the water. I know there's someone who's actually probably about a mile, two miles down the road from me, and they do not, there's more mattresses. They don't, uh, they didn't wrap theirs, and they have four mattresses out, pushed up against a tree, and they've been there for about two or three months, and they're just still sitting there. So, gotta wrap the, gotta wrap the mattresses in, in plastic for the trash company to take them. It's generally a, a thing that kind of, is around here, and I think most of America now. The constant worry of bed bugs. All right, looks like we might have another bed frame over here. It's a good possibility. Interesting. either a bed frame or a gate. I think it's a bed frame. trash picking is kind of wrapping up here also speaking about wrapping up this is actually not too bad but back two roads down uh, all the leaves are pretty much gone all the trees so fall is already <laughs> fall is coming gone in about a week or two weeks it's kind of unfortunate because the best part I really like is the best month I think is uh, October it's definitely the most beautiful of all the months aside from maybe April April or May we're here going to park there's like no one here so I assume there's probably not too much good stuff that's generally how it is people leave early if they don't find a lot of stuff that they don't want to stick around for so we'll see First buy of the day, we got some older paint cans. Looks like these are kind of cool. Uh, it'd be cool if they're oil cans, but they're they're older paint cans. And somebody else there was saying how people do collect uh, older paint cans. You might be into paint advertisements, so they do sell. But you got some older ones here. That one's not that old. be like a flea market thing most likely this one maybe is worth probably eight ten bucks online but paid two bucks for it so that was not that old so there's a couple in there that are decent all right slowly becoming a hoarder of these two items these jugs i always pick them up here and they always sell really quickly it's like one of those things that everyone always asks me about it's always those jugs and then a bunch of mason jars here. So you got a bunch of blue ones, the ball ones, the pint ones. I've always talked about grabbing them. They do sell pretty well. The Atlas is very common. These uh, glass top ones, they're good for decoratives, but they're not very sought after. But there's a couple of these pint ones, which aside from the half gallon, they sell pretty well. Uh, I still regret not buying that one mason jar that I came across at that one auction where he was selling them by the piece. But whenever I pick up mason jars, now I think of that story. It is what it is. Uh, probably going to stick around a little bit longer. But might head out of here shortly. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this metal in here. Uh, I, I also tried bidding on some storage lockers. 
and for some reason I tried to reset my password because I can't sign in on my phone and the site that it sends you to reset your password is like corrupted where it won't load. Uh, there's something wrong with it, it says an error. So they might miss out on some storage lockers online, but there are some ending tomorrow. So I'll bid on those. Uh, sticking with tradition, whole thing to silver plate. Read him, Barn and Silver Soldered. Hmm. Oh, a bunch of silver plate. That might be. Best silver plate made in England. It's kind of neat. I really have to get on top of my game and make a silver plate pile for uh, Lambertville. I know Blue Bus Dave goes down there. He has a guy who buys all this silver plate. That's not. That's glass. Standard quadruple silver plate. Hmm. So I paid four bucks for all this. It's a nice tray as well. All right, so I did leave the auction. I actually stood around for about another hour or so uh, trying to bid on a, uh, a box lot of pewter because there's actually a scrapyard around here which apparently gives you the same price of yellow brass for pewter. And there had to be, I don't know, 15 pounds in there. 20 pounds of, of pewter. So I wanted to see if that myth was true. I was going to bring it on the way home to that scrapyard since it's kind of on the way, but uh, the box pier went for a little bit more than than what I would have gotten in, in scrap. So I decided not to buy it, but I was going to try that myth. This is the license plate wall. Funny story actually yesterday is I was changing a light bulb in my house and my light fixtures in my house are a little bit taller than this one or these light fixtures. And I brought that ladder down. So before I used to just use a really long pole uh, with like a coupling on the end or like a suction cup. And I would try to take down the light bulb like that. I couldn't do it. So I just decided to take the ladder down. And it was, it was an adventure. But it was really good that I actually bought that ladder because that makes my life a lot easier with that. So that is back. I don't know if it's actually in the right place for the next row. But I did add one row since we've last looked at this. Uh, and most likely I added about a half a row because I think this was a half a row right here. But here's my plate wall. It's going pretty well. I do get a lot of questions. Let's try to get a farther, farther look at it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can pause the video and see if your plate's up there. Or if you're thinking about sending a plate, for the most part, uh, all the commons of each state are up there, such as Virginia, Pennsylvania, Nebraska, Illinois. Uh, I think Michigan's common is up there. Arkansas is. So there's a lot of commons that are up there. California. Generally speaking, I probably have almost every common plate or plate that's used today. I know I have a lot of Nevada plates. Up top here is a whole stack of all duplicates. Like I say, I got a lot of Nevadas. There's another one over there. There's a West Virginia, Vermont, Pennsylvania. There's a bunch in there. Montana, Blue, New Jersey. A lot of Texas plates as well. And then these are all ones that I haven't put up yet. And they're all different. So I know I have an Oregon plate up there as well. It looks like this. It's actually right there. Fifth row or fifth column all the way on the bottom. But that's a permanent plate. This one does not say permanent on it. And this one says Oregon on the bottom as well as November. Whereas that one has no indication of the month. So these are just some plates that are going up there shortly. So these are all different. This one also will be going up on the international wall. So I wanted to clean up some space here so I can work on this side. There's a bunch here of uh, Canadian. Probably my favorite plate of all time, this one. This is probably my favorite plate. It's just a die cut of a bear. So yeah, that's that. Like I said, I got a lot of comments, so I'll try to figure out what to do with them. I was planning on putting them on that wall, but as you guys see how long it's taken me to do one wall. That would probably not be done until 2025, so uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out something with that. But 
uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in sending a plate, P.O. Box information is in the description below. Like I said, if, if you guys send me a plate that's not on the wall, it's not on that pile, um, it'll be going up on that wall. I probably have space for another, I'd say like 40 to 50. And in that pile there, I probably have 10 or 12, maybe 10 uh, domestic plates. So yeah, it's been fun. Oh, geez, been fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's been kind of all around. Did a little bit of trash picking, did some auction, did a little update in the warehouse. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys did, smack the like button for me. Subscribe for more treasure hunts, and I'll catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.